This is awesome. Thanks so much for uh, taking time to uh, talk with us. I can't think of a better place to interview than at the PEI Brewing Company. This is fantastic. Absolutely. Let's talk about the uh, show, and uh, it's been underway for a few weeks now here at the uh, PEI Brewing Company, and uh, it's an incredible, incredible collection of your music and, and artwork from your sister. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. As you know, we did it uh, last summer in, in collaboration with the Confederation Center, and we did 57 shows, which was beyond my dreams. You know, they were all sold out, and we, and we had so many requests from people who wanted to see it who had missed it and people want to come back and we said well we got to do it again this summer and I was really happy when I got a call from Kevin Murphy he said come on check this place out and I was a little hesitant at first you know a brewing company I didn't think I was looking for a theater you know yeah, yeah. but when I came down and saw the space I said wow this is really cool and, and uh, it, it actually is a, an elegant little theater in the back here and we you know we curtain it off and lights and everything else it's it's fabulous and everybody who's seen the show so far this year says that they like it they, they think it's a, a much better show it's a stronger show we've added a lot of stuff to it and, yeah. let's talk about the uh, artwork that's uh, you know kind of meshed in with the with the show I don't want to give away too many spoilers but uh, your sister uh, has a great collection of art that's uh, included as kind of the backdrop to the music uh, um, yeah it, it, you know it, it turned out so much better than I had hoped I mean I was aware my sister I, I my my apartment is full of her paintings and I'm such I'm her biggest fan and and I just think she has such a unique take on interpreting the island and and the colors of Prince Edward Island and so forth and, and you know I say in, in my story I talk about how you know the Mi'kmaq legend says that the, the great spirit Glooskap took all the best colors of the world and, and painted Prince Edward Island into existence and we kind of turned that around because my sister Karen has taken all the best colors of Prince Edward Island and put them into her paintings which we show on stage you know along with the along with the songs my songs and stuff and, and uh, it amazed me I mean I knew she had a lot of paintings but we kept as we were putting the show together, more and more and more paintings kept showing up, you know, hundreds of paintings uh, that we've incorporated into the show, and they're always in motion on this gigantic screen behind the band, and it's very, the whole show is very much alive, and people come again and again just because you can't possibly take it all in in one shot. You know? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about, as a, as a performer, what's it like being in a, a nice small venue where you can be, a, as, a, as a customer, I know, it's, it's very engaging and it feels very personal. I like it, you know. The, the, it, we 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 curtained it off so it seats about 225, which is a real nice crowd. It's a, it, it's not too small, but it's but it's it, it's intimate at the same time, and uh, it works extremely well. Uh, uh, it, it, you know, I got a, fa a fabulous band uh, on stage with me. They're all amazing players. My two nephews, Jeremy and John Gallant. Uh, who have, uh, each on their own are fabulous musicians. Uh, uh, Sean Camp is an incredible violin player. And, and this year we've got the Pat Patricia Richard, who's just fabulous multi-instrumentalist and singer, and she's got an incredible presence on stage. And, and uh, we work extremely well as, as a team and have a lot of fun. Every night is, is we, we really enjoy playing music up there, and you can tell. You know. Now, have you always had music in your blood uh, growing up? Like, Can you remember back to what made you decide to, to get into performing? We kind of talk about that a little bit in the show, actually, how I got my first guitar. And uh, it came, you know, I got my first guitar from uh, my dad. And I, when I was really young, my dad used to take me up to, to get cedar posts. He was a trucker and he used to get cedar posts in northern New Brunswick. And, and, uh, and we made friends with these Acadian woodcutters up there. And, they'd, and, and, on one, and I used to help, when I got a little older, help load. But when, when I was around 13 or 14, one of the woodcutters gave my dad an old guitar. He strapped it to the top of his load of logs, and he he brought it to PEI on the Abigail Ferry on top of his load of logs. And that's how I got my first guitar, and that's where the story kind of starts, you know. Uh, is it uh, exhilarating to be able to express the, the stories behind the songs? Because so often, you know, you hear a song and you're like, oh, I wonder if it's about this or that. Uh, this show gives the audience a chance to hear kind of the backstory of what inspired it. There's a backstory for a lot of songs, and, we, and there's a lot of humor, a lot of laughs in the in, in the in the show. There's a lot of funny stories and up tempo numbers, and, and you know. But basically, it's all around Prince Edward Island, you know, from many different aspects, you know, from current events, and uh, you know, very we do we do songs that are very pop oriented. But then I go back in time. I've been writing songs for close to 30 years, and and so some of the songs are you know when I first started writing are from. Yeah. So it's kind of a I, I like to think of it as kind of a patchwork quilt, you know, of, of, of elements of Prince of Water Island from all points of view. We do, you know, talk about legends. We talk about, you know, uh, uh, you know issues of farmers, fishermen, just average people, you know, uh, love songs. Uh, it, it's a real potpourri, but PEI is, an, is in all the songs or is a setting for the songs. And it, yet it doesn't seem repetitive in any way. And, and the reaction we're getting from people 
it's great. I mean, it, I, it blows my mind that some people have been back four and five times, you know, to see the show. So it's it's fabulous. It is fabulous. What would you tell someone that's just getting into music now that might be listening to this interview online, and, and what kind of inspiration could you give them? Because the business has changed so much, uh, just from the aspect of how quickly your music is accessible. I know it's it's quite crazy, and and uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm I'm a little bit old school in terms of uh, in terms of getting the stuff out there. I'm still. You know, it's it's almost me who has to catch up in terms of the social media thing. You know, we have uh, we have stuff online, and, and, and certainly you can download all my, download all my stuff on iTunes and that. Uh, but uh, it's it's a whole new world, that's for sure. You know, uh, digitally speaking. Yeah, yeah. Um, and one more quick question: uh, When your son gets picked up by another songwriter or to be featured in a in a show, what's it like when you get that phone call? Is it still exciting every time to go? Oh my gosh, they're going to use. Yeah, it's great. I've, I've had my songs in TV shows and films and, and uh, been recorded by, by some pretty big names. Jimmy Buffett, you know, recorded one and I got, got to sing it with him on, in concert a couple of times and that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, it, it, it feels uh, pretty great. It's a, a nice gift, you know, when somebody like that records your song because you don't really feel like you have much to do with it. And, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, when you go to a show, do you actually get to enjoy it, or do you kind of critique as a as a musician and as an entertainer, or do you can you actually kind of unplug and, and just take in a, a wicked time? It depends on the show. Yeah. Uh, if if it's a, by an artist that I that I love and 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 I feel they're killing it, you know, I'm I just go along for the ride. You know, <laughs> I try not to be too critical, but yeah, I got that little. Oh God! They should, you know, the sound, the mix isn't right. You know, turn it up, you know, turn it up. <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much for this, and uh, looking forward to seeing the show again this summer here at the Brew Company. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much.